Hi, welcome to our telehealth medicine safety information video. I'm Garvin and this video is on fungazone. So fungazone should be administered primarily to patients with progressive, potentially fatal infections. This potent drug should not be used to treat the common forms of fungal disease, which show only positive skin or serological tests. It is used to treat infections caused by fungi and yeasts. So fungazone is for severe, potentially life-threatening fungal infections affecting the body as a whole, or for example, cryptococcosis, the North American blastomosis, invasive candidiasis, and histoplasmosis, mucomycosis, protozoal infection called the American mucocutaneous leishmaniasis. So how does fungazone work? Fungazone infusion contains the active ingredient amphotericin, which is a type of a medicine called an antifungal. It is used to treat fungal infections caused by fungi and yeasts. Amphotericin kills fungi and yeasts by interfering with the cell membranes. It works by binding to a substance called ergosterol, which is an essential component of fungal cell membranes. This disrupts the fungal cell membrane, causing holes to appear in it. The cell membranes of fungi are vital for their survival. They keep unwanted substances from entering the cells and stop the contents of the cells from leaking out. As alphotericin causes holes to appear in the cell membranes, essential constituents of the fungal cells can leak out. This kills the fungi and treats the infection. So how is fungazone given? Fungazone infusion is given via drip into a vein, which is intravenous infusion, over two to four hours. The number of infusions given and the length of treatment will depend on the severity of the infection and how well it responds to treatment. Fungazone solution may also be made into a bladder irrigation to treat candidiatal infections of the bladder or lung inhalations to treat aspergillosis affecting the lungs. It may also be given by injection into the spinal column to treat cocodiodal meningitis. The solution has also been used to bathe the ear, eye, peritoneum, lung cavities and joint spaces to treat fungal infections in these areas. Fungazone should be used with caution in people with decreased kidney function, also in caution with people with decreased liver function and caution in pregnancy and breastfeeding. So this medicine is not known to be harmful when used in pregnancy. However, the manufacturer states it should be used with caution during pregnancy and only if the benefit expected benefit to the mother is greater than the risk to the baby. For life-threatening disease, the benefit of treatment is likely to outweigh any risk. So get advice from your doctor if you're pregnant and using this product. It is not known if this medicine passes into breast milk. However, due to the properties of the medicine, only low levels will be anticipated if the medicine does pass into breast milk, it is unlikely to be absorbed into the baby's bloodstream as it is not absorbed when taken by mouth. But get advice from your doctor if you're on this medicine and thinking of breastfeeding. Possible side effects of fungazone. Low blood pressure or hypotension, nausea and vomiting, shivering, fever, which is a high temperature, low blood potassium level, shortness of breath, elevated level of creatinine in the blood, abnormal kidney function, decreased numbers of red blood cells in the blood or anemia, abnormal liver function, low blood magnesium levels and rash. So the side effects 
may not include all the side effects reported by the medicines manufacturer. So for more information on risks associated with this medicine or side effects, you can read the patient information leaflet provided with the medicine or talk to your doctor or pharmacist. So how can fungazone affect other medicines? There may be an increased risk of side effects on the kidneys if this medicine is used in combination with other medicines that can have side effects on the kidneys. So some of these are listed here and they should be avoided if possible. So people receiving treatment with any of these in combination with amphotericin should have their kidney function regularly monitored. And these are aminoglycoside antibiotics, so gentamicin, cyclosporin, pentamidine, polymyxin, tacrolimus, and vancomycin, and zidovudine. There may be an increased risk of a drop in the amount of potassium in the blood if this medicine is used in combination with any of the following. So these are corticosteroids, so hydrocortisone, fludrocortisone, pregnisolone, dexamethasone, corticotrophin, some diuretics such as bendrofluoside. If hypokalemia occurs due to amphotericin treatment, this may increase the risk of side effects from digoxin. So fungazone may increase the blood level of fluocytosine, which could increase the risk of its side effects. Fungazone may be less effective at treating infection if it is used in combination with azole type antifungals such as ketoconazole, itraconazole or myconazole. So that brings this video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact us through our website, mytelehealth.info or call to Lynch's Pharmacy, Douglas Cork or ring 436-6923 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.